I mean, we are going to a lake where we have been told that there's a 70 pound catfish. We've caught a 15 pound black tail bullhead there before. Uh, we got a variety of different baits we're going to throw out there and see what happens. So, ciao. We made this. Nice cork popper. A circle hook on the back. So this is a top water lure. We're hoping for the best with this. It looks like it's gonna run pretty good. What are we hoping? Uh, with this, you're gonna in, in fresh water, you're gonna hope for like snakehead bass, maybe a chain pickle, yeah. but actual. Yeah. As you can see, we got some heavy gauge wire in there. So let's just go back and forth. That gives us our knocking sound. And then we've got the big salt water. It's technically a Matsu hook, but it's an octopus hook, basically. It's just a different bend in it, but it's technically an octopus hook. But they call it a Matsu hook. So these are the saltwater hook. This is saltwater wire that we're using, so this that's what it's intended for. But we're going to see what we can do with it in fresh water. So, so you're going to swap your handles. You guys think I was using this last time left? Swap it. Go for it. Oh, there, yeah, now it's got that. Yeah. 
Yeah, now it's got that pop action when you do that. Okay. And we made this. We made yeah. this in-house. All right. Not much else to try, and then they're, they're full of people down there. There's at least four vehicles with people down there. I think they're on the other side of the brush there. I'm So we added a number 16 on the rear, crimp weight, so the basic split shot thing on who you are. And it makes it cast further and it makes it sit better. So we just gotta make some different, you know, it's something more permanent. So it's, I think a 16 might be a little too heavy, but it's right there at the knot so when you're using thinner braids guys don't tie snake head knots in if you're gonna tie a snake head knot in make sure it's 40 pounds or more this is 20 pound line I'm using today and uh, <laughs> uh you saw how that happened 